Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very exciting video for me to film and the reason why is because if you have been following me along on my channel for quite some time now, you probably know that I'm a huge fan of shoes. I've got a bunch of different shoe review videos out there and so I was super excited when this company called Sarah Flint reached out to me to become a brand ambassador. As you guys probably already know without me having to mention, I'm a huge fan of shoes. I like to try um, shoes from different brands, different different styles and everything. So I was honestly just really excited and blown away when they reached out to me. So today I wanted to unbox with you guys um, this pair of shoes. These are the perfect block sandal in a 30 millimeter heel. I got them in the gold Napa leather in the size 35. So I think I've already mentioned on some other videos that the sizing of my shoes just kind of depends on like the style of the shoe. I'm pretty much a true size 35 and a half, um, but when Whenever I'm wearing an open toe, I do go down half a size. So that's what I did with these shoes. Before I open up this box, because as you can see, all I did was remove it from the packaging. I have not opened this box yet. And another reason why I feel like this video is so exciting, you guys get to see these shoes for the first time with me. So before I go ahead, take the ribbon off of this box and open up this pair of shoes, I did want to tell you a little bit about Sarah Flint and why I felt like this brand resonated with me. So some of the things that they really prioritize is comfort, and that is definitely really high on my priority list as you guys know I wear a lot of like flat or like lower heeled sandals but occasionally I do throw in a high heeled pump for example my wedding so comfort is super important for me and I don't like to buy shoes that are going to be uncomfortable and if I've ever bought in shoes that are uncomfortable I tend not to go back to that brand because it's really important to me that I'm able to put on a pair of shoes and basically wear them all day because I am a person who also feels like convenience and like practicality is really important as well. Some of you guys may not have heard of Sarah Flint before and to be super honest with you guys this brand was pretty new to me as well but upon further research they have actually been worn by celebrities like Meghan Markle and Amal Clooney which are known for like really classic timeless elegant styles. If you guys have been following me on my channel for a while and also on my Instagram page you know that I kind of like to vary it up between like casual elevated looks like I like to wear things that are like comfortable and practical but I do like to put some really nice shoes into the mix as well. Sarah Flint also has a ton of great styles on their website, some that I'm super excited to hopefully be able to try out sometime in the future. They have some really cute flats, um, two of them that I really like. I think you say it, um, Sacchetto and the Natalie flat. So the Sacchetto flat actually reminds me of a pair of Jimmy Choo flats that I had a long time ago that my dog actually ate, so I don't have them anymore. Um, but the Natalie flat, I am super into a pointed toe flat, as you guys probably know. I ha I've shown you guys a bunch of pointed toe flats on my channel, and they also have a cute bow detail on it, which I used to have a pair of pointed toe flats with a bow on it like way back in the day. This is probably almost 10 years ago. I love them and then they basically fell apart. So I'm hoping to be able to replace that pair sometime soon from one of the shoes from Sarah Flint's line. Um, they also have a really great everyday like pump, something you can wear to the office. And so that's something that I have been keeping in mind because I know a lot of us have probably been working from home for quite some time now, but I think in a few months, um, I may be spending a little bit more time in the office as things kind of like, you know, get back to normal and stuff. So that's something that I have been keeping in mind as well because at the end of the day, you know, like for me working from home, like the situation was kind of more on a temporary basis. So definitely looking for some shoes that I can wear when I go back to the office. So you guys know me, I love a good pair of flats, but the reason why I picked up this perfect block sandal is because I do want to wear open-toed shoes to the office as well. It's just that I haven't honestly made a priority of it and I don't find a lot of um, low-heeled like open toe sandals that I could actually wear to the office. So I think this really solves that problem for me. Um, I'm just gonna take this bow off and open this box up. Because Sarah Flint's brand also talks about comfort so much, I was really hoping to be able to not only use this for the office because you know that has a lot of sitting, but also to like events. Like when we're going back to attending weddings and all that kind of stuff, um, even like to the mall or if I'm able to travel again, I definitely want to be able to take some like nicer pairs of shoes with me when I travel because as you guys know, 
I want to take really nice pictures when I'm out and about as well. So right inside of the box, it came with two different cards here. So here is who crafted and finished my pair of flats. So that, that I think is really cool um, that they're like representing all the different people who are working there and putting the shoes together. And this is another card talking about their comfort. So it says, your shoe is part of the perfect collection, which means it is meticulously design designed for the ultimate fit. Memory foam padding, expanded toe box, built-in arch support, and slip-resistant outsole. I was actually on a brand call with Sarah Flint the other day. It was really cool. There's about 30 of us on that call. Um, Sarah Flint herself was there as well. And they had mentioned that um, some of their items are thinking a little bit more eco-friendly. So those two cards that I just pulled out did say it was made from recycled materials. So that's something that I think is really cool as well. Um, you guys probably already know too that that is something that I care a lot about. So I just pulled the shoes out of the box. It came in this really nice gray bag. So here are the sandals. Okay, let me just take off the wrapping. So here are the gold block heel sandals that I picked up. I think they're super cute. I am actually um, also thinking that I'd be able to wear this to like weddings or outdoor events once that is all open and a thing again. And um, yeah, this definitely won't let me like sink into the ground because that's a concern that I have as well. I've gone to a couple of outdoor weddings where I was wearing heels, you know, I was not prepared. I don't have too many like wedges or like that kind of style of shoes. So I did kind of have to like stand on the side a little bit so I wasn't sinking down or like use, engaging a lot of my leg muscles, which made me really tired. <laughs> But um, yeah, I think these are really cute. That's basically why I chose them. I did want a sturdy block heel so that I'd be comfortable all day long. Um, as you can see right here, um, this is where there's a little bit more padding. There's a lot of padding right here on the shoe, which I think is really great. And yeah, I think these are super cute. They're gonna be so flattering once I get a chance to wear them out. And in the block heel, this is the lowest heel height that they have. I think it's two other heights that they have, like a 60 millimeter and an 80 millimeter. So if you like a higher heel, they definitely have that available to you. They also have um, like an open toe sandal like this with a stiletto heel too. So that's another option in case you're, in case you're interested. Um, I'm definitely hoping to get one of their pumps one day because I think they look really great. And if you know they are made for comfort, I can definitely wear them all day to work because like I said, that's another reason why I don't wear stiletto heel pumps to work like I would like to, but I just can't tolerate that kind of stuff. With a lot of other brands, I just can't handle doing that all day. But yeah, I really love the gold leather. I can already tell like this shoe is made with so much care. So as I'm taking a look at these shoes and I'm sure you guys can see it as well, the stitching is done really well. Um, everything looks super high quality. You know, another point that I wanna make is there are often times when designer shoes are made and you know, they're super expensive, right? We're talking about like six, $700 shoes um, so that you can get, you know, high quality, like perfect stitching and all that kind of stuff too, but they can often be not really comfortable and not made with um, as much padding. So the shoe line from Sour Flint is also really high quality. They are giving you that comfort and the price is much less. So I think these shoes regular price are a little over $300, um, which is much less than like a $700, you know, luxury, luxury designer shoe that might be less comfortable. And to be super honest with you guys, that's something that I do wish other designer brands would would put a little bit more like consideration into when they're designing their shoes. I know a lot of times it is because of fashion, style and looks and all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, I've been finding, you know, in the past few years that I'm gravitating away from some of those brands, especially when it comes to high heels, because I just, you know, have a harder time tolerating wearing the shoes for long periods of time. And personally, I would just wear shoes more if they were comfortable. So yeah, I can definitely see myself like going to lunch, going to the mall, probably even like walking around in these for quite a period of time. And so, you know, I'm really excited to start wearing these. I definitely want to wear them to work.
All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this unboxing. This video is only meant to be an unboxing video for now, but if you guys are wondering how these shoes are working for me um, a few months from now or whatever, let me know down in the comments below if you'd like me to do a more full review video. I hope you are just as excited as I am. And um, I do want to let you guys know that if you use the link in my description box below, you can get $50 off your very first pair of Sarah Flint shoes. I definitely think it's a great opportunity in case you want to check them out or if you're looking for new shoes to wear to work, like maybe you're in the same situation as me where in a few months you may potentially be going back to the office uh, more often than you have been in the past year and you're looking for something new. I feel like this is kind of like a great opportunity. It's almost like that back to school feeling when you're like in school, this is kind of like a back to work kind of feeling and you wanna just kind of elevate your outfit a little bit more, treat yourself to a new pair of shoes before you head back. All right, you guys, well, thank you so much again for watching this video if you enjoyed watching this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos in the future from me don't forget to click that subscribe button i'll see you guys next time bye